Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this another hurricane season countdown video. And so we are 80 days away from the official start of the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season, which is of course the 1st of June. And so that is the official start date. But I think that there is the potential for us to see preseason development, uh, meaning that we could see the formation of maybe a tropical cyclone or two, even if it's not strong, but uh, just the formation of a tropical cyclone before June 1st. And so uh, let's see what's going to be happening for the Caribbean this week. So before I go into details. <music> Okay, and so we are currently taking a look at satellites and we're seeing that not a whole lot is really going on right now. We do have a strong cold front that made its way out of North America from a winter storm. I believe that storm was Quinlan and uh, uh, we're seeing that not much convection is noticed, especially across the Caribbean and most of the main development region. But just off Africa, we are seeing a lot of activity taking place and that is happening because there isn't a lot of unfavorable conditions in those regions. So a lot of the dry air is not really persistent in that section so that is why we have some space for us to see all this convection developing and I mean it would be nice for some of us to actually experience some nice rainfall because these days are getting so hot even though sometimes we do get some rainfall so as I speak about the dry air let us now take a look at that dry air map. Okay, so as per usual, we have the different colors that indicate the abundance of dry air that is present. Uh, when we take a look at the light yellow shades, that is when we have less. And as we go to the dark orange and red, that is when we have more dry air that is present. So we see that we have quite a bit, uh, especially in sections of the Gulf of Mexico in the Bay of Campeche area right there. We have quite a bit of dry air. Across most of the Central and South Caribbean, we don't have a whole lot in abundance. But across sections of the Eastern Caribbean, I'm talking about Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, Lesser Antilles, we do see some dry air present as well. So this is a huge inhibiting factor, of course, when it comes on to us having rainfall on a whole, because when we have a lot of dry air present, we don't have all that convection taking place that will eventually lead to rainfall. And just off the coast of Africa that I spoke about earlier, we're seeing that we don't have a lot of dry air present. So here we are seeing the proof of how dry air can really help to determine the convection that takes place, because uh, that area is kind of scarce in all this abundant dry air so that is why we have all that rainfall developing down there whereas in sections of the Atlantic and Caribbean we don't have a whole lot going on but we still have some times when we have that window of opportunity for us to have some rainfall especially when we have all that moisture streaming in because of the trade winds and so now let us go ahead and take a look at what is going on in terms of the hurricane season so let's briefly talk about the sea surface temperatures and we are seeing here uh, that majority of the main development region right now is fairly cool uh, just in the low 20s uh, thereabouts but in the Caribbean we're seeing that things are pretty warm I mean we're in the tropics it's going to be warm all year round and the Gulf of Mexico some sections are slowly warming up but especially just off the Gulf Coast states of the US uh, really cool conditions in those regions so definitely uh, not really favorable for us to see any source of significant development of any tropical cyclones right now. However, of course, as we're going to be heading closer and closer to the summer months and late spring, uh, that is when we could see more of a possibility for us to have maybe a tropical cyclone not saying that this will happen but i mean for the past seven consecutive seasons there has been at least one tropical cyclone developing before the start of june and that was the reason it came into discussion that oh maybe we should move the start date of the hurricane season two weeks further and make it begin on the 15th of may i mean that's why that discussion came about because there was an increase in the amount of tropical cyclones developing especially in the month of may so that hasn't been implemented as yet but what has been implemented was the National Hurricane Center now uh, going to give their outlooks beginning two weeks before June 1st which is on the 15th of May so even though the World Meteorological Organization has not moved the start date uh, the National Hurricane Center will be given their routine outlooks beginning on the 
15th. And so let me know in the comments, do you think that we will have a preseason storm this year? Let me know your thoughts, but I certainly think it is possible. And so now let's talk about what is going to be happening this week or what is going to be possible in terms of the precipitation totals. And so as we take a look at this map that is showing how much rainfall is going to be expected, uh, we're seeing that the different colors, they of course indicate different amounts of rainfall in inches. And so this is just for today. Uh, on the 13th of March and we're seeing that across most regions not a lot of rainfall is expected throughout the day but we do see that nice uh, area that is highlighted a nice diagonal line that is actually the cold front that I spoke about earlier that is making its way down however between now and Wednesday here we have a change so we'll quite a bit of rainfall expected across most regions so nothing very significant but uh, this is really just showing that there will be rainfall even if it is a brief downpour for a lot of areas across the Caribbean regions and we see some of those uh, higher totals in sections of Central America and then as we take a look at what is going to be expected as we head to next Sunday so again this is between now and the next Sunday not just for one single day but we're seeing here that we're basically seeing the same thing nothing very major is expected the maximum amount of rainfall across most areas is likely to be under an inch with some areas of central america going probably up to two inches of rainfall so that is really what is in the forecast between now and next sunday nothing very major pretty much what's really been happening since uh last week we're going to see something similar to that where we have some rainfall here and there but again it is not going to be anything major and so just to be prepared for all this just ensure that if you're going out you always take an umbrella with you because you can never be too sure and so let us go ahead and see if euro is agreeing with what the gfs is expecting and so we're seeing here that uh euro is expecting less rainfall totals in sections of central america than gfs so it is showing mainly just about an inch in most areas across uh the Caribbean region and also sections of Central America and you even see up in portions of the southeastern US and along the Gulf Coast states where quite a bit of rainfall is expected and that's going to be due to the rounds of storms that uh, the US is expected to be uh, going through as time progresses and so just reiterating that for the Caribbean nothing much is going to be happening for the next week or so but again as we head to next month in the latter part of next month and going into may we can expect to see increased precipitation activity of course i'm going to be keeping you updated on all of those important details as time goes by and so that is really it for this update video so again we don't have much going on we just have a cold front that is making its way down uh probably bringing some cooler than normal temperatures and some precipitation to portions of cuba the bahamas and also sections of central america and also have that dry air that is really helping to limit the amount of precipitation that is present across the region and also in the main development region out in the atlantic and nothing major is happening right now so things are going to slowly warm up as we head towards the official start of the hurricane season and of course i'm here to keep you updated as time goes by and so guys if you found this video to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And so remember to always be weatherwise.